Hey everybody, I just wanted to ask you, what have you done today that has made a difference in somebody's life? How many times today did you say a prayer in your head for somebody that needed a prayer said? How many times today have you made a difference in somebody else's life? Let me ask you this, what have you done different today than yesterday to continue forward on your journey? What kind of things have you accomplished today that are different than every other day? Remember, every day we have to shoot for something more. We have to shoot for something bigger than ourselves. Every single day we have to push and strive to do more and to be more than who we are yesterday. Okay, what have you done today? How many times did you um, shake somebody's hand today? How many times were you polite to somebody today? How many times did you wish well thoughts of, with somebody? How many times today did you get upset in your mind but then decide to let it go and move about and saying, you know what, it's not worth it. You know, everybody gets angry. Everybody gets happy. Everybody gets upset. Everybody gets mad. Everybody gets sad. How many times today did you make sure to do better by somebody else? What have you done today to make somebody else's life better? You know, here's just it. The more you do for others, the more you fill yourself up on the inside. I know that's a cliche and everybody says it, but you have to do for others. You have to do more for other people. It doesn't cost money to be nice to somebody. It doesn't cost money to shake somebody's hand. It doesn't cost money to pat somebody on the back and say, good job. It doesn't cost money in order to pray for somebody inside your head or even out loud with somebody. It doesn't take money to give somebody a hug that needs a hug. It doesn't take money to smile. I don't care if it's going out of style. You got to smile. You got to be there for everybody. All these, you know, books out there that tell people, you know what they all have in common? It's do more for others and you can get more for yourself. And those that don't think it, that means you're doing stuff for people that expect you to do stuff for them. Okay. Now, in your workplace, you have to work for the person that you're working for. But outside of work, you know, do something that people aren't expecting. Go by and knock on a neighbor's door and tell them that you care about them. Tell them that you're grateful for them. One of the things that I like to do is take around my Christmas cards, um, the ones I was able to mail for long distance like California stuff, and I like to go over and I like to actually let them know that they matter to me, that I care about them, that they mean the world to me. Thank you for their friendship. Thank you for being my family. Thank you for being my friend. Thank you for being there when nobody else was. Why? Because they deserve it. Just like you deserve knowing who they are. Don't be so scared to get out of your shell. Don't be so scared to think outside the box. You got to do more. You got to be more today than who you were yesterday. To be more, that means you have to do something that you're not used to doing. That means you got to get out there. You know what? All these plans you hear from people are ideas. And you're like, oh, that's stupid. I don't want to do it. But you want to know something? Maybe what's stupid is the fact that you have not left your box to do something different. So, of course, it's going to be stupid to you, you know, because it scares you. So, it's stupid to you. It scares you or it's like, oh, that's just so immature. Well, you want to know something? Things that were done 20 years ago are not done today. And things that we do today were not done 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 50 years ago, okay? You know what I mean? Do something that is out of your capability, meaning do something more for yourself today, Okay? Be a better person to those around you. If you find yourself around the water cooler, around the copier machine or something else, and you got to chit chat, chit chat, chit chat, chit chat, 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 chit chat, chit chat, 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 and talking negative on people, then maybe you should stop the chair chat and say, you know what, I like that person. Let's just not talk about anybody today. Hey, what's everybody doing for Christmas? How's everybody doing? But if you start hearing that gossip, remember, it can come back and bite you just as much as biting somebody else. But if you stick up for that person or whoever it is, no matter what they did wrong, who cares? Then somebody will do it for you because they know you did it for them. Or they might not even know it. But in the end, when everybody knows that you're sticking up for that person, then they know that you're going to stick up for them. Now all of a sudden, if somebody starts talking, so in other words, we can end the soap opera. We can end the gossip. Is it possible? Yes, it is. Okay, there's more gossip in the workplace and the family place today. The soap operas, they can't make money anymore on TV because the soap operas in real life are worse than what they were on TV. So let's go out there and be nice to each other. Let's go out there and set goals for ourselves. Look, the more you do for others, the more people you have to pull you up. You know what? If you're going to get on top by stepping on everybody, remember this. The top is very lonely without friends or family up there with you. The top is very lonely. You can look out uh, and you turn into an Ebenezer Scrooge. Remember, Ebenezer Scrooge had it all. Money, power. He was rude to people. He got what he wanted. But in the end, he was by himself. In the end, he was alone. 
in the end, it's not about what you can take with you. It's about what you've done for others. If you've only done for yourself, then you're probably really, really empty on the inside. And those are like, I'm not empty on the inside. Ha ha, I got mine. They got theirs. Blah, blah, blah. Nah, you're empty. You just don't show it. And when you go home at night by yourself and you have nobody to love you and nobody care for you and nobody to hug you, then you're depressed. And then you're meaner to people the next day. Well, if you're actually nicer to people, eventually somebody's going to come around and knock on your door. Why? Because I keep telling them to. And they're going to say, hey, why don't you join us for a game of volleyball? Hey, why don't you, you know, I just want you to know that I care about you. Hey, why don't we go take a walk? Hey, I just want to see how you're doing if you're warm today. You know, it's not about money. And, you know, I, I grew up and everything was always about money or you got to save here and do that. But to be a true humanitarian, a true person, sometimes it's about doing the right things for the right reason. And sometimes even... If you have to do it to the worst person that is the meanest, cruelest, ugliest, and you keep being nice to them, who cares what they think? As long as you're nice to them, you know what? At least you know what you did, and eventually you're going to get to that person, or somebody's going to eventually get to that person. But a journey of a thousand miles starts with one step, okay? To build a house, you have to put the first brick down. You have to lay a foundation. You cannot build your house within the sand. You cannot build friendships and stand and then expect it to wash away every time that you decide, oh, I'm just going to talk bad about them. Be a better person today. Remember, everybody's got a past. I ask every day for people to forgive my past. Now, did I do anything that bad? No. But I do know that, you know what, I know in the past I've stepped on people. I'm the first to admit that. I know that people, you know, I have not had the greatest past, but nobody does. But it's about our future and how we're building our lives and how we pick ourselves up and how we correct our mistakes. You know, a lot of people at one time never even knew what two plus two is, but eventually they figured out of those four. Okay? You can't blame somebody every single time something goes wrong and not expect them. You know, if you blame everybody for their mistakes, remember people, glass houses. You know, we all live in a glass house. Now you're going to start throwing rocks? You know, he who without sin cast the first stone. We're all sinners. We all make mistakes. My goodness. Some of us worse than others. But sometimes those worst mistakes is what we needed to do in order to build, to climb even higher. If you fall, you climb even higher. Why do rich people lose everything and are able to get back on top? Because they make mistakes and they figure out their mistakes and they correct it and they change it. Okay. I watch people all the time make mistakes, but then I watch them correct it. And you know what? They're some of the greatest people around. Some people ask me how I can be friends with certain people, whether they're rich or poor. I'm like, because you want to know something? I see that every day they're striving to do better than who they were. They are better than who they were. They're more than who they were. And if they fall, they get back up. If they fall, they, sometimes they need a hand to get back. But you want to know something? They take those people that help them with them. Be a better person today. Be a better friend today. Be a better coworker today. And if all you hear is a little chitty chat, chitty chat, 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 chitty chat, chitty chat, chitty chat, 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 eventually you need to slap that chitty chat and say, hey, you're a great person. Thank you for being my friend. Hey, you know what? I know you're struggling right now at Christmas time. Let me give you a hug and let you know that I'm going to pray for you. Hey, you want to go to church with me at Christmas time? Hey, you want to go to synagogue with me at church at Christmas time? Whatever you call it. Hey, you're a good person. Make sure you let others know it. And let them know that they matter. Because you matter. I'll talk to everybody later. I just, like I said, I just feel that there's some people out there that every once in a while I need to go on here and let them know that they matter, that they're important, that somebody cares about them. And I care about each and every one of you. Mr. Rogers, you should look up his YouTube video about his final speech he gave. I know everybody's like, oh, he was that kid, so he put that sweater on. A lot of people don't know that his mother made those sweaters for him. A lot of people don't know that he did all the hand puppets and he, you know, he truly cared in people. Okay? Now, why do I use him as a good excuse for him? Because he's a great person. So thank you for being you. Thank you for being alive today. Remember, each one of you matters. And remember, you're important. I'll talk to you guys soon. It's not Christmas time yet. We're not in the first of the year yet. I am getting everybody. I'm trying to reach as many people as I can before the first year. Let them know that they're important. Let them know they matter. And let them know to set their goals. And in 2017, we're all going to accomplish our goals together. And we're going to hit it hard. Harder than we've ever hit it before. Because we need 
to build big. We need to go forward with our journeys and we need to make sure our journeys got as many people on as possible to be as exciting as possible. Everywhere from the doctors, the lawyers, the police, the firemen, the military men and women, those that are, you know, workout people, just everybody. And we're going to make 2017 bright, brilliant, and full of hope, full of change, full of great things, full of you, full of me, full of everybody. Talk to you guys soon.